Hello Gemini, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, this is the mid-monthly love reading for June 2020. Uh, some of these things could have happened already or uh, some things that you may look forward to. However, uh, this isn't going to resonate with all of you. And uh, so we're going to begin with the Emperor. And this card is what is coming up. And I feel like this is the start of new love, new romance for some of you. I feel it's also some of you are thinking about someone that you love, that you want to be with them. And I feel the um, feelings are mutual, that they also want to be with you. And I feel like for some of you, we'll hear from this person you, you will make plans to be together and really um, uh, really enjoy time together. Uh, there's a lot of things that uh, could be causing this excitement. It, also, it could be like the social distancing that has been going on, the, the lockdown, the isolation, whatever word you want to use for it. And then other things have been happening. And so um, you, there may have been a distance between uh, the two of you. Now, I, it's interesting that I feel like somebody's thinking of you and you're thinking of them and that there could be a connection. Uh, now, this could be somebody from your uh, far past, even recent past, it, or it could be just someone that you do have a relationship with right now, but you may be apart for various reasons. Um. When I look at this four of cups, this is in the change position. This is what conditions will change. Um, for some of you who are in a position of a, a breakup, a, a separation, a, a, or just bewildered about how a relationship stopped, uh, I do. I feel like that you're willing to work things out and again, it's complimenting the emperor where I feel like for for a lot of you, you may find yourself back together and working things out with someone who I feel has hurt you here. But we're going to look at the Ten of Swords in, in just a few. So these are the conditions that will change. So there's an opportunity here to work on things. And I feel like you will accomplish a lot of things. Some of you might actually take a small trip, spend a weekend or whatever away. Um, I just feel like what you feel may actually be sour at the moment turns out to be a blessing. I do. Now, when I look at the Ten of Swords, this is the positions in what will cause the changes. Now, some of you might even feel like you want to pull away or somebody just got up and left you for no reason or there is a reason, but you don't understand that reason. So I feel like there's a bit of confusion, confusing, confusement. Thank you going on there. But with the Ten of Swords, I think you just need to let it go because I feel like this, this, the worst is over. The anguish is over, but you will still be stuffing things down um, about maybe the faults or blame of others or them doing that to you. But like I said, I, I, with these other cards I'm looking at here, I really feel that you have the opportunity to work things out. I also feel the ones who, who may meet somebody new or are you know, still growing in a relationship, which that should never stop anyways. But uh, I do feel like if there has been any indifferences, those are going to be worked out. And I do feel like there's good, uh, a good feeling of love between uh, the two of you. Um, I would be careful with the Ten of Swords of how you react to things. And don't try to pin down anybody. Maybe use that type of energy to come up with your decision. June's kind of iffy. I wouldn't. There's two sides of the coin here. So I wouldn't rush to make any firm decisions uh, in regards to your relationship. 
unless it's a positive one. But if it's a negative one, like, oh, I, I think maybe I need to leave this person. Maybe I shouldn't hang out with them anymore. They've hurt me so much. I can't trust them. They betrayed me. All that kind of, I don't think you should, should make a decision in June for this. Also, too, I feel like there could have been some, you know, really bold statements recently or even maybe during the pandemic that we've experienced. I, I, can, I probably could go back about two to three months on this energy for some of you. And when I mean bold statements is somebody may have said some things that are cold, you know, that are rude in unsympathetic now again you know like love doesn't it's not just about your mate it's your children it's your family your friends your animals um love is love Now, some of you might feel that you need to take action to correct something. Again, I feel, I'm feel i feeling that blame and fault energy. And if you do that, that's going to take you a different direction. And you make sure that that's the direction you want to take. And that I don't feel the energy of June in, with a Mercury retrograde is that's when you should make a decision to do so. I think you just need to let things breathe. Let's go on to the Two of Pentacles here. Um, this is the way things will change. And again, I'm feeling like for some of you, you'll be trying to maintain emotional control here when you're faced with upsetting circumstances. Now, of course, that's not going to mean uh, for everybody, but we've got the Two of Pentacles here and it's like juggling things here, trying to make a, a, a balance here. Uh, or it could be that both of you feel like it might be best to go your own separate ways because you can't seem to get on the same page. Some of you are just going to be like totally overworking yourself here, trying to keep things in balance. I would give it to higher source. I would give it to the universe. Try not to hold everything as your responsibility. We've got the three of wands here and it's in the position of needs. These are what you need to understand or do. And again, it's about difficult decisions. Should I or shouldn't I? And, and, and for some of you who are even dating someone new, I, I'm not trying to put a damper on this relationship, but really like some of you have been feeling so lonely that Maybe you need to review the choices you've made. Because here with the three of wands, you're at this position of what you need to understand or do. And you've got a lot of should I's or shouldn't I. So should I get with this person or should I leave with this person? And... I think you should put your energies into something constructive for the month of June. And also make it known without faulting or blaming or arguing is you want a relationship that's cooperative. You know, what's the big deal? Is it that difficult for you to be cooperative? If it is, there again, you'll be back in this position. Should I be with this person? Should I not? Will this work out? Is he, is he or she fulfilling my needs? Is my partner aligned with me? And am I aligned with my partner? A lot of heart speaking, which is great, but there needs to be also a lot of listening. And if something doesn't serve you, don't go through the struggles. Just decide I'm leaving or I'm not leaving. But this energy comes up in June. I don't feel like your decisions should be until July. 
maybe even August. I because there's there's so many there's so much going on. We got six retrograde planets. We got Mercury in retrograde. Um, mid month here, seventeenth. We've got a lunar eclipse. Twenty first. Uh, both of them in Cancer. We're already under the influence of that solar eclipse and it's zero degrees cancer, which makes it critical. If you don't want to drop it, then see within yourself how this relationship can align with you. What's not aligning, don't try to fix it. Just see what can be done with both of you participating in this not just one person because then then here you are trying to fix it um here's the outcome you've got the eight of pentacles this is your future wants and outcomes you'll have movement you'll have movement in your relationship it's not huge for some of you it's not huge and at times it might feel like it's difficult to ground. But I do feel for a lot of you, there is someone in your life that will light up your life and turn out to be the best thing about your life if you can let go of some of these uh, past issues that are still hanging over your head. You're still carrying it on your back like a backpack. Some of you might feel, ugh, I can't find somebody special or I can't find someone. I've just been dating or I haven't been dating and just things haven't been working out. But your cards are good, Gemini. Okay? You can take this relationship and blossom it. Or you can let it go. But some of you are really going to experience some nice relationships. If you really align and really narrow down what it is that you want from this relationship. Or from any relationship. Mercury retrograde will have you guys thinking for sure. And even retracing footsteps. Some of you might be like, well, let me really think it out about what kind of family I want in the future. I mean, who I really actually want to settle down with and what I want to create. What I want to be a part of. All right. Great to read for you, Gemini. I wish you a wonderful June. Stay loved. Stay blessed.